You're watching 3 Pound Fishing, sponsored by these great companies. Hey folks, welcome back. And today we're doing a Garmin Live Scope view. I'm going to have the, the camera actually mounted on my chest the entire video. We're going to play a lot less music and you're going to see what I see when I'm sitting up there at my helm. So do me a favor, sit back, relax, get something to drink. Folks, this is going to be a different type of episode, but I think you're going to enjoy it. We're going to put slabs in the boat. Do me a favor and subscribe. And also, just before we get started, check out 3poundfishing.com for the new merchandise. We got hats, we got hoodies. Folks, they're awesome. So sit back, relax, just like I said. Let's put some slabs in the boat. Welcome back, folks. This is gonna be the view of this entire trip because I want you to have the live scope view and that's the name of our episode today. I want you to know exactly what I'm looking at and there's gonna be our, our perfect helm. And uh, let me correct that right there. Get a microphone and we are gonna fish piles today with this setup. So if you like this setup, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers using it. We're gonna give it a rip. Now a lot of people that haven't been with three pound fishing. Let me show you what I got going on here. This is a leader system here. I always keep, there's I think 15 on each one of these uh, rolls here. Get these at Bass Pro. That means that these are already pre-made up for me. So I take a leader, that's eight pound line. That's a number three ball swivel, a number seven split shot, and a number four hook. And I simply have to do this anytime I break off in the timber or the brush pile. I don't do a fancy knot on this one right here. It's real simple and I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't have to try to thin on a hook or anything like that. My eyes are getting bad folks, I gotta tell you. And uh, yeah, so that's how I do it. I always have probably three or four of those rolls filled up when I do guide trips. When I'm just out here, I have probably about two of them and they are ready to roll anytime I want. now. This is the structure we are fishing. And if you, as you can see, it is fantastic, huge piece of, I won't say piece of anything, it's a whole tree. But um, all I'm doing, trying to, there was a bite right there, got one already. Look at that guy coming up. That's our first fish. And we haven't even started this. This has been 30 seconds probably, but that's a good fish. Eh, it's about a 10, 10 and a half halfer. Um, definitely a good eating size. So folks, when I'm up here sitting, I've got, you know, you see the images right now. I really don't need this 2D up. In fact, I probably, I'll just take it down and I just go to my map and there's my map of this particular location. And there's our structure right there. And if I scan out, I'll bring this up to 35. This is how I search. I have that setting at 35 forward. Anytime I'm searching, I got it at 35. And once I find the structure, of course, we've already found this structure. Um, I move it back to 18 because I know how the fish look on an 18 forward. But check out this structure. This structure is pretty amazing. See it right there? That is an entire tree, folks. This is probably bait fish. I don't get too excited when I see stuff like that. It's obviously very small compared to the crappie. Um, a lot of times you can see crappie follow around bait fish, but right now I'm looking at, you know, these darker areas right in here. I think there are fish. There's one sitting under a branch. And those, that's how you target those fish as you're looking for bulbs, essentially. You know, it's funny about live scope is some days it's better than others. I think you have to tweak the gain, like I said in our tips and tricks, but we're just gonna fish here. You can see this, this little group right here. And what that means is we've got 10 feet in the direction. So it's 10 foot, it's about right here is where those fish are at right now. And a lot of times what we do at this stage is we're just making sure that we are at the right depth with our bait. So if me and Wade are in the boat or whoever, um, let's see if I can see, I'm really shallow. See, I'm way up there on top. I watch this. Boom, right into the money maker right there. Scared this one fish right here. He's moving around. He really wants, he wants to come in on it. There he is right there. 
another fish. This is a good one. Wow, that's a good fish. That's about a 12, 13 incher right there. Solid fish. Hmm. Let these fish go today. This is a catch and release episode, folks. So that's how you're using your live scope. Let me see if we can do that again here. Minnow rig right there. Checking out my, my structure. Again, I'm focused right here. That's 12 feet in front of that, in the direction of that trolley motor. So it's basically about right there. Now look, there they are. Should be dropping on their heads. Sometimes you don't pick it. Might got hung up on a branch. It did get hung up, hung up on a branch. Because we should have saw it dropping in. Okay, now it's five feet in front of that trolley motor, in line with the trolley motor. Boom, and there it is. That is a big fish. Oh, that's so awesome. How do you not like that? Anybody that doesn't like that is crazy. Solid 13 inch fish. Look at that guy. That's awesome. Let it go. That thing thumped it. So I had a little bit about my unit. I got the 10 inch, the XSV maps. This is the 1040, the 1044. And you can get the 1022. Does the same thing. Is it the 1044? Maybe I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. This is a number nine Helix, generation one. I'm only using it for maps, that's it. Do not need the 2D or anything else up, to be quite honest with you. Um, sometimes I use it just because I love to see what fish look like on 2D. I think that's cool because if they ever do, you know, I doubt they will, but if anything ever happens and I lose my live scope, whatever it is, I wanna be able to still read 2D and I'm confirming now what those images look like. Okay, so we're gonna target a fish. That's targeting a fish, here we go. Look at this clump of fish. These are good sized fish. 10 foot now in line with that trolling motor, which is about, I, you know, it's funny when you get live scope, you've got to learn what six foot looks like, what 10 foot looks like. You do that by looking at structure that you can see. Okay, so we're targeting this right now. That's four foot in front of the trolling motor and it's a lot closer than you think. Four foot is I can stretch out a 10 footer and I'm at four foot. Oh, they're still there. Look at those guys sitting on that branch right here. That's a hot spot right there. There I am. See all those fish follow it. I am right on top of those fish now. I'm right here. I just saw it. Just yanked it up. There it comes down. I think I lost my minnow. Dang it. It is dropping in right on top of them. And there's definitely fish there, right there. Look at that. There's good sized fish right there. See them, folks? Right there. That's a good fish. That did not take long at all. Maybe the biggest fish of the day. Put spot lock on. Boom, right there. That's a solid 13 incher. That's a great fish. Let it go. There's some good fish on that, uh, that limb right there. Here comes one right now. There he is. I watched him. I don't know if you guys saw that, if you can pick it up, but. Good either size right there. Man, they're just skinny here. They're skinny. 
So when you are consistent with your, your how far you're looking out, you get an idea really quick what a big fish is and what is not. But the key is being consistent. We've got big fish right here on this log, right there. Hey, please comment. Let me know if you guys like this view, if you like this format. Um, I probably won't play that much music on the, during this type of format just to see if you guys like it or not. Love to hear the feedback. There was a tick. I saw myself move up. I can move my bait up. I can see where the fish are at. I did just briefly there. There they are. They're over here. And I have one. Eleven and a half -er. So as you see, I'm not looking for my line necessarily all the time. I'm uh, a lot of times I'm just I, sometimes I want to just verify my depth, but there I am right there. Got a fish coming on it. So I know I'm sitting at 11 foot right now. The key now is to find the fish and put that in front of them. This is a good fish. All right, very close to the big of the day, but maybe not. Man, they get skinny when they get up here, but that's beautiful. Hey, thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. Please comment on this view. We just experienced live scope up in front, center, live. I tell you folks, that is the legit fish, legit system, and that's my helm. Check it out, thanks, and please subscribe.